new customer. Who we got? Who introduced? Yo, hell, whoa! Here's one slick fella. Bam! Who am I? Nobody of note, you know. Just the best darn salesman ever. Circa 1998. By the way, I'm going to be collabing with Negative Sanchez again today, probably happening right now. Considering the last time we did this, it resulted in... You fucking used a semicolon. <laughs> <laughs> Darkness that's within me. Take down your YouTube channel. You might want to check it out. It's going to be a great time. Link down below. Wham! I'm Mo. Anyways, the fact that you try to get your mitts on my on this mug can only mean one thing. You're looking for a delicious little something to hit the spot, right? Of course, I know your type. So, you want this here beverage? Hell yeah, man. No, you don't. All right. Liquids? So last season. Solids? <laughs> season before. You what you want is plasma, my friend. And direct, direct ejected directly in your veins, making you glow every time you break your bones and crack them like a ghost. I have invented the next big thing here. Is he about to sell me ice? But they can grab a low price of 15 gold. You can have your own hot chocolate. I was once boring old hot chocolate, but now it's frozen in the perfect temperature. Have I piqued y'all interest yet? I am sold. I knew you would be. Dang, I'm good. Let's get down to business. Give me a snap. Give me that. Let's go. 35G. Hot pop. I want the hot pop. Great choice. You enjoy that pop, buddy. Really? Really? The hot pop doesn't count you, dear. Hoffle? You specifically do hoffle. To help you. Hot pop does a little wonderful, but hot will bob. Till next time. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Too many frames in your animation. Let's go. And he just waddles away, arms to his side. That's a Chad walk right there, just marching forwards. The name's Refill. I'm in the boss, the world renowned gang. Shook. We rule this town with an iron ladle. If you want to pass, you're going to have to get through us. <laughs> All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to start a fight. Let's be civil here. You attempt to attack everyone you encounter? Damn, damn, will you? But no, I try to spare everyone, actually. Jeez. We shufflers prefer to settle things in a more dignified manner. We'll take this ball here and hide it under one of us. Next, we'll shuffle around. When we finish, you have to guess who has the ball. You picking up what I'm putting down? Yeah, though, that's rather impractical. I assumed you put it down for a reason, but sure, whatever. You. Boom. Got ya. I'm I'm watching you. I know what's up. Oh, oh, no, nope, no. Nope. I got you left. Yes, I'm the best. I am the best. You earned yourself powerful friends in the shuffles today. All you gotta do, remember the name. And we'll always be on your side if you ever need us. Shufflers, always take a friend, right, boys? Yeah. You got a problem? We can handle it. Yeah, handle it. Like the ones connected to our bodies. We live a cursed existence. So this is the resort area. Hello there, honey bear. Hello, Grillby Spawn. Hey, have you seen those loiterers outside? They keep telling me they're a well-renowned gang, but I've never heard of them before. You know why they told me to go on this vacation? Well, because I come off as stressed. But you know why that is? I have a theory, see? Why do you keep using colons? Because there are just as many things in life to worry about. Work, laundry, imminent starvation, and so on. Stop using colons! Stop! Stop! That is weirdly techno for the underground. I love it. This one's for the fluffy troublemakers out there. <laughs> Silence. Oh, oh, okay. You actually... I thought it was just like, uh, fluffy troublemakers. The honey cooler, our coveted latte machine, and the, the space heater. We're the only thing keeping the sun going. The heat from that machine often reminds me of those days. I hope it does you too, if you were there, which you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up now. Oh, you are my new favorite character, friend. I claim to be a musician, but I know nothing about reading sheet music, scales, intervals, or any of that. That is why I just hit things with sticks rhythmically for a living. <laughs> Whoa! Throwing shade at drummers! I wish my left hand was as cozy as my right. Normally, I would have two mittens. My one is symmetrical. But I think my left mitten took a vacation or something. It just left me. What lovely characters. I wonder what happens when I kill them all. Just, just, you know, just out of curiosity. I'm assuming there's a genocide route, but this is so nice. I'm gonna go with pacifist for now. What if there's a deeper meaning to it? 
The torch is a metaphor for the incomplete nature of life. I'll never look at the underground the same way again. <laughs> Thank you, theorist. <laughs> Please do leave a comment asking me if you want to see me check out the genocide run, because right now I'm doing pacifist. I'm going to try to go for true pacifist, but I am curious what this game has to offer. Hello there. Wow, it's colder today than usual, huh? If I wasn't extremely lazy, I'd go to the Honeydew Resort and get them hot coffee. Take out a cup of coffee. For me? How can I ever thank you? I... No, no, I... It was probably out there for ages. You got a soggy mitten. Oh, wait! Just in time, too. My left hand was getting so jealous. I just can't live that much civil unrest. I should really pay you back. I don't think I have anything worth as much as my mitten. I know. Take this. It's... I, I was really hoping they were going to give me that right mitten. <laughs> All things must be balanced. My left mitten is more damp than I remember. It's okay. I'll just leave my right mitten in the snow until it's just as soggy. See? They understand. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Coffee! You take out the cup of coffee. Hey! What a little... What a little... That's... That's a full one. A little cup of hot. But not that hot. You... Picky... Bastard. Fine. Frickin' a lukewarm pot. Maybe some coffee will fill my pot. I... I am getting sick of your shit, dude. Greetings, Martlet. Hello. Fairly well, Martlet. That was fat. You broke it as soon as you walked away. That's 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 just upsetting, buddy. I feel bad for you. Bread slippery during rainfall. No running. Fine. Hello. Your mouth is not what I thought it. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, no running. That's fine by me. Let's. Okay. Okay. This is very precarious. But also, ah, oh, poo, okay. Less of a puzzle and more of a total wipeout. Can you get through the big red balls without looking like an idiot live on the national television? There we go. There we go. Oh. Uh, there we go. And done. Ooh, hello. 10 steps east, second side. <laughs> Trihecta wobbles forwards. Hello. Let's, can we climb? Can I join the Trihecta? Can we become a Quahetra? You attempt to climb Trihetra. Try pushes you away from stepping on them. Aww. And the king of the castle! Whoop! Okay, okay. I feel... I mean, yeah, it was wrong of me to try to climb on you. But... Look, I, I just feel like we could combine our powers. Let's check. Intimidatingly tall. I'm the king of the castle! Alright, but what if you weren't intimidatingly tall? Hear me out. I have an idea. I'm gonna push one of you off. Push Try Hector away. Oh, okay. Let's wobble a bit more. I want to see more frames of your animation. Topples over. Yes! Look at that animation frames. Any injuries? Trauma? Maladies? <laughs> yeah, we... we they, they don't look too happy that I did just probably cause them serious agony. You, hello. And you're a royal guard. There's your station. Hi. Hmm? Oh, um, hello. Sorry, I didn't know where my, where my head uh, was right there. It seems I have a summer home in, in La La Land these days. You look a little lost. Are you looking for directions? I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm not actually an information kiosk. I know this place by the back of my wing, though. I don't get lost much anymore. I can get you to wherever you want to go. Wait. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark here, but... You're human, right? I knew it! I knew I'd find a human! You must be human, right? Uh, actually, no, I'm just, a. Uh, Hat. Monster. Possessing a human. Very different. You look just like this guy on this poster I saw once. He had a hat just like you. <laughs> okay, my bluff didn't work for reasons. You know what? I'll have plenty of time to ask you questions later. Hello there. Are you ready for some Royal Guard protocol? Oh, you are, because I memorized it. I, in a book that I'm going to read as I do this. Martlet of the Royal Guard has encountered a human. Prepare to apprehend. Protocol 1. Be courteous and allow the opponent the first attack. That seems mean. I'm going to check you. Martlet, attack eight, defense 10. A little scatterbrain, just a little. I don't think it's supposed to be helping you, but that was supposed to be your turn. It's okay, I space out and miss stuff like that all the time. I'll let you go again. Martlet, my friend, I don't want to fight you. So I'm just, what does rush mean? You tap your wrist impatiently. Martlet looks apologetic and tries to talk a little bit. Oh, that's just mean. I don't want to be a, a dick. I'm just a menace to society. Uh, I, I, hold on. I had the guide up book on me. I, I'll, I'll check what to do when someone doesn't actually attack. You can just, um, uh, take another turn. Go for it. H hit me as hard as you can. I really don't want to. 
Trying to strike a pose that's professionally imposing. Okay. Marla, I'm going to ignore you. Why are, why are none of these options pleasant? I'm just a menace to society. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm really sorry for the wait. I'm, I'm looking. I'm not the best royal guard, you know, but I'm trying to be better. Last week, I apprehended this girl. Total human. Oh, I think it's your turn. Ah, royal guards are to proceed to the next step without hesitation. Oh, does that count as hesitation? What? Uh, protocol 2, my attack. Okay, Marlon, you- Whoa, okay, okay, whoa, okay. All right, jeez, jeez, all right. You can't, you, you, you're holding back on me, aren't you? All right. Oof, that was only a warm-up. Prepare for the Royal Guard gauntlet. Okay, okay. Are you just throwing the physical thing at me? Oh, they're throwing everything but the kitchen sink at me. Ah, including snow globes. You're just throwing all your- You're supposed to use puzzles to stop me, not throw the puzzles at me. Everything smells like birdseed with a tasteful hint of vanilla and orange blossom. That is actually a really nice image. Give me a hot pop. I really like these attacks. They're really creative. But okay, Martlet. Martlet. Chill. Chill. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. This is a real workout. Keep it up, Martlet. Yes, keep going. Keep going. You're doing great. Wait, no, stop. Stop. You're going to kill me. <laughs> Hang on. Wait, no, no, don't, I don't. Oh my God, you're dropping me. You're dropping stuff on me. That's not a fun thing to do. And I can't go up either. You're not being a very nice person, Martlet. Cal calm yourself. Um, hold on. I'm checking this one more time. That can't be right. You're not fighting back. I know, right? I don't want to hurt you. You're all cute and stuff. I know. Same. Vice versa. What if I shoot you now? See, when I apprehended that girl, I didn't have this problem. Well, I guess she didn't attack me per se. But she scolded me and got real aggressive. Like, what are you on about? I'm not human. Clear the feathers out of your head. Would you mind being aggressive like her? You call Motlet a weenie. A big weenie butt. Aw, that was adorable. I'm not cute. I'm not, no, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm evil. I'm a human. I'm, I'm like bad and stuff. I could destroy all of, all, all of, of monster kind with just a, with a flick of the wrist. Why, why, don't, don't condescend me. You can't just, okay, jevil ass looking attack, chill. Calm down. Cut. That was, you know what? Deserved. Deserved. Martla did really good. I'm not even sure she <laughs> meant to kill you there. <laughs> Flowey, piss off. <laughs> You're such a dick. It does make me wonder though. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Woof. All right. Pretty pow. Whoa, these attacks are good. Oh, that one got me. It does make me wonder though. Like, Flowey even brought up that, you know, it was, she wasn't trying to kill me. Um, and yet I still died. And he said impressive, which means one of two things. Either he was being a sassy little gremlin and sarcastically sa saying it's impressive that I died in spite of it. Or actually, Flowey of all unfeeling, cold, calculated bastards had a genuine moment in which he was like, huh, this bird is actually pretty powerful, which seems ominous to say? Let's try again. Let's try again. Insult. You forced me to have Marklet. I do not like your clothes. I don't like those shoes. What are they? They sure ain't Jordans. They ain't nothing. They ain't nothing of value. Stank ass shoes. What kind of rule God wears rags like these, huh? It's not like I stayed up all night sewing them of anything. No! I'm sorry! The homemade Jordans, I feel bad. Why would you- oh. This is really strange because you're finding me adorable and being condescending and I'm finding you adorable and being condescending. Come on, dig into some deep aggression. Break down my self-esteem until it's a pile of metaphorical rubble. I, I crushed my mental health under a bug like your shoe. Wait, do you crush bugs? No, I, I don't want to do that. I know you're literally asking me for it, but like, fine, fine. You should kill yourself now. You insult Martlet's job performance. Yep. I have to say, you're not wrong about that one. I've kind of been on probation for a while. No, I just feel mean. One more misstep and I, can't, and I can say goodbye to Royal Guardum. And oh, the nice perks that come with it. My cozy uniform, my Royal Guard discount, the movies. My nice insurance rates. When they find out how much I hesitated here, I'm doomed. I mean, they specifically said don't hesitate. I got it. If the Royal God doesn't know you're here, they won't know I broke protocol. Instead, we'll just get you home before any of them see you. You'll be in home for dinner. Don't like to stare. Uh, I mean, maybe not today's dinner, but sure, a dinner. Anyway, we'll bypass the Royal Guard and plead your case to Asgore. There's no way he could say no to a cute little face like yours. Meet me up ahead, and I'll show you my plan to get you home. Wonderful! We made a new friend! We made bird friend. 
Bluebird friend. This is adorable. Hello there. Hey there. So, here's the plan. I I'm sorry. I think I went a little overboard, but I, I can't help it. This is all just too exciting. So, I've been saving this for a rainy day. You know, figuratively, we don't really have those. Uh, either way, behold, the UG Aviator. The greatest aviation device that solely goes on water. In the water sits an old looking raft with just enough room for two passengers. Isn't she a beauty? Boats are she's, you know. I call her Ava for short. Isn't that cute? That is a most beautiful craft. If my map memory serves, this river should lead directly to Heartland. From there, it's a hop, skip, and leap to Asgore's castle. I'm not sure how we're getting in, but we cross that bridge when we come to it, right? Um, I also wanted to apologize about, you know, attacking you and, you know, killing me a couple of times. I meant no harm, honest. I just have to do my job is all. And, well, oftentimes I don't know what the right action is until it's too late. So, I know we just met and all, uh, but will you trust me on this? Hmm. Well, we know for a fact that Asgore absolutely wants to kill me, and the closer that we get to him without finding answers is the closer we get to our imminent doom. But look at that adorable face. Look at that face. How can I say no? Yay! Don't worry. Your trust is in good hands. Or wings, as the case may be. I may guard it with my soul. And this means we get to have an adventure. This is so exciting. I mean, nothing this exciting ever happens around here. At least, while I've been, been here, it hasn't. Think of all the fun we'll have. I mean, there's a chance I might be fired for this. <laughs> and lose all my life's work and belongings and money. In fact, it could be so bad they'll kill you and then give your soul to me and force me to leave the underground. What's left without a little risk? So shall we be off then? Yes, let's go ahead. Oh, I really hope we get to bring Bartlett with us. That'd be great. Best friends, go all the way. Please don't... Oh, you... Oh, what have you done? Oh, oh God, that... Wait, you can fly, right? You can fly after me. I was supposed to be unable with you. Okay, okay, good. You are gonna fly up to me. I was like, this is where we part ways now. Bye. <laughs> How's life? So I was thinking, if Ava doesn't have sails, does this still count as sailing? Or just kind of floating, adrift, abandoned? Pretty smooth ride, yeah? My woodworking skills aren't too shabby. I suppose I should thank my mentor. Older fella by the name of Chun of Shunjin taught me everything. He, well, never mind. Hey, so would you mind answering a few questions for me? It's nothing big, it's just a little quality assurance questionnaire. Furthermore, what's it feel like having blood? Can, can, how much of it can I remove before it becomes a problem? Did you know that if I take your heart and stretch out the entirety of its muscles across in a vertical axis, you'll die. Will you try it? Yes. Great. Aww. On a scale from one to three, how would you rate your encounter with the Royal Guard? Uh, please answer honestly. Um, as in, I'd say it's a solid three. Wait, really? I got a three! I've never gotten a three before! Oh my god, goodly goodness, I can't believe I got a three! I have to tell absolutely everybody! <laughs> Please don't! Hey everyone! The human I failed to capture and or kill or take the soul of said that I did a great job! Yeah, look, they're right over there with the one holding the gun! <laughs> On a scale of one to two, how would you rate uh, the puzzles deployed in Snowden? I had fun with them. They were a pretty good time. Really? Thanks, I made them myself! There's a reason I was assigned to work under the Royal Scientist. I mean, it's because I got last choice of station. But still, you pick up a few things, Garden, all that science stuff. Anyway, back on topic. Question three. On a scale of one to one, how would you rate a, the auditory ambient? What does that mean? Okay, that's a new question. Why would they keep updating this? Uh, let's just forget the question. But the auditory ambience. I love the auditory ambience. Let's rack that up to four. I'll just put you down as dead center for the rest. That sound good? Yeah, it works. Just a two there, and a three, and a two, 15 here, 23. Why Why was one of them out of 36? Oh, and one more thing. Uh, I'm gonna need your name for legal purposes. You know how it gets, it's, it's Clover. What a unique name, I love it. So Clover, let's talk about Ava. The greatest ship of all time. Isn't she great? I told you, sails like a dream from a perfect lullaby. Nice pace, pretty view, and not a single leak. It, Ava's gonna start sinking right now, isn't she? She's going to sinking and vanish from us, just like Ava in Resident Evil, forever leading us on, thinking that perhaps she and Leon have a chance, and then she blows up the building. Oh, well, there's a little one, but not too many leaks. We can just sit back and relax, and hey, when you fight Asgore, Ava will throw you a rocket launcher. Do you hear that normal amount of running water? Okay, waterfall, let's go. 
Well, we are in Waterfall. Is just me, or is the river getting fat? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, say, say that again slow. <laughs> It's like the, it's like that owl in Harry Potter. <laughs> it's like that in the second one where it like opens up its Yo, this looks so cool. I man, I've been down this route before. It was a straight line! We took no deviations! How did you not know this was here? Hey look, it's Hardland! This is our stop! We are getting sucked straight to the core. It's a dark here, slow down! Slow! No, we're getting banished to the dunes, I bet. Am I predicting it? Here we go, here we go. All the way. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, bye, Bartlett. You probably could have called me, but okay. Hello, Clover, are you? Oh no, we're going to abandon Bartlett too, just like we did with Toriel. Oh no, no, no. Uh, you stay right there. I'll go get help. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. What a day this has been. You fell down two giant crevices. You must be suffering serious head trauma. Thanks to that guard, we're totally off course. Looks like she ditched you as well. I guess it can be helped now. There's got to be another route to Asgore's castle here. Tough it out for, for now, and we'll see where this new path takes us. Little excitement never hurt anyone. Well, except you. I, you know, let me let me heal you up. Cave is a little claustrophobic for my tear. My brother in Christ, you move around the underground by shlunking through the floor. What do you mean it's claustrophobic? Whole new area. Let's see what they... Ooh, hello. But like... Wait, no. Northern Caverns, though. No, 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 no. Northern Caverns. Hang on. Is it going to say Undertale Yellow again? I swear to balls. Awesome. I want to go back. <laughs> now that we just had the epic reveal. Yo! My boy, how's it going? Hey, another explorer in this neck of the caves. Pleased to meet you. You wouldn't be in the stone moving business, would you? <laughs> Only kidding around. Stories, let's go. Yes, I have many great stories for the old days. This one time I... I... Uh, I just forgot all my stories. <laughs> It's like when someone asks you what your favorite music is, and then the lovely favorite song is, and you forget, like, every piece of music you've ever heard in your entire life. Oh, do you want me to say my catchphrase as a farewell? All right, then. Ready? Let justice prevail. Or was it let justice be done? Could have also been, here comes the hammer. I am the storm that is approaching. What can I say? I can never decide on my catchphrase. <laughs> I, I used to have, that reminds me, I used to have a goldfish that... Wow, that ent exit was nowhere near as dramatic the latter time. I used to have a goldfish that I kept for a good long while, except I can never commit to a name, so I just rename it something different every single day. Rest in peace, Percy Thomason the Third, Cedric, um, McDuda, Fluffles the Fish, Scaly, um, Finn fin Haver. You, 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 you were, you were the best. So much so, you were all over the place. God, this music's so good. Okay, okay, building the sandcastle. Nice. Good stuff. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, God, they're flying back. There are some packing peanuts in the box. Will you take... Yes, I'm going to eat me some packing peanuts. That would be amazing. Is there anything else? There's nothing here of conceivable use to you. I mean, there are other actual peanuts in there. Can we take those? Those are real food. <laughs> this is... You are what Ditto should look like. Just this little adorable little goober. This is a great little guy. I, I love him. I, I, my new favorite character. Everyone is my favorite character. Warning, danger sign ahead. <laughs> Gosh, game. Oh, no, sandstorm. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. So the sandstorm just, just sends us all the way back. All right. What can we do about it, though? Oh, wait, maybe if we hide behind things, maybe. Hang on, if we go there. If we hide behind the sandstorm, I comprehend. Yo, who's that chill guy with a whole bunch of explosives in his hand? That's a little bit concerning. I'm not up to anything suspicious, okay? There is no treasure behind this wall, okay? Don't rat me out, all right? I'm, I'm gonna be real. The paint is still wet. Did you did you draw it on there, bro? Are you are you okay? This is my TNT. I didn't steal it from my brother at the mines. This X was here before I arrived. Just waiting out the storm, okay? Get out my case. I'll leave you to it, but I swear to God, do not disappoint me by betraying my... Damn it. Thank God this storm comes in waves. Yes, let's check out what's down here though first. What is down here? I don't even know whether this was the correct way to go, but I guess this is what we're coming to now. Hey, pal. I can't stand storm this sandstorm. And run back. There we are. And we are back here. Yay! That guy's just tanking it. Look at him. Tanking it like a champ. Ooh, how... <laughs> 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 it's, 
<laughs> Sorry, that was really funny. To me. <laughs> oh, I love humor like that. Because <laughs> it's just the image of it. Because because we don't get like because I know we just get teleported back. But I love the image of what's like we're actually getting blown back. So I just love the image that like this guy's just like. So how's it? <laughs> Wait, it's not even a sandstorm. It's a fucking fan. Are you watching with me? Hey, bro, what's up? Bro, what's your damage? Cat wants to cool up around. He's such a killjoy, bro. <laughs> I just ruined that guy's day for no good reason. I'm actually just a menace. I'm public enemy number one. All right, all right. Now that we've ruined that guy's day, who else's day can we destroy? Ah, the flower. You're going to be my next victim. Strange sight, huh? You knew something this could actually grow here. Anyway, great job so far. This place is much more treacherous than Snowden. Keep it up, Clover. It's nice to be called by name. Oh, Mo, how's it going, bro? What you got for me? Oh, you're just tearing off your... <laughs> How do you do that? Exit stage down, enter stage left. You are a fascinatingly powerful salesman, I must say. Guess who it is? That's right, it's Mo. Long time no see. Have you been? Don't answer that. We don't have the time. I'm here to make you a brand new offer. Hot climate comes for a hot item. Check it. Giant water cooler. That's right. I went all out this time. This is a real delicacy around here. It's called water. <laughs> Catch your name, I know. Looking for you. I'm giving out free samples. Want a glass? Hell yeah. Coming right up. Give me some of that, dude. We can have some water cooler talk. You watched Traitors recently? It's an uh, interesting... <laughs> His face. <laughs> I sorry to disappoint, man. You just go ahead, Mo. It, all right, we'll give you we'll give you a chance. All right, we're selling ice. If you know your boy Mo, you know I planned all that. Here's my real product, iced tea. That sequel to water, way better. Now nah, maybe real with you. Tea doesn't have ice in it particularly. It started as a glass of ice, but that melted. All I had to do was throw a tea bag in there, and wham! Don't worry. Tastes better this way. Here's what I got. Let's have a, a, a CT. Great choice. Drink up. Oh, this is new. Sir Slither has a proposition. I'm beginning to believe you buy into Sir Slither's fancy words. Something feels off. Oh, yes. We're going to go far, you and me. Oh, I should not have done that. Nope. I'm being hypnotized. This is bad. Stay away from me, Slithery man. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. Not a good, not a good vibe. Come on, mate. Don't leave me out of the eye. Nah, I can't even uphold the accent. I don't know you can uphold your character. How do I know I can trust anything you... Ah, oh, well, shit, he just murdered me. Right, that's a pretty trustworthy individual, I got to say. I'm... Dang, sucks, right? Right, so try to do it again. Flowey! Die! Fine, but you're missing out big. Enjoy the snake-sized hole in your heart. I'm sorry. The only hole in my heart is the metaton sized shaped hole in my metaton shaped heart. That's, that's all there is to it. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no. It's a tumbling tumbleweed. Is that it? Was that the most... The, that all you have for me? A single... Oh! I deserve this. I deserve this. Big time. This is the most dramatic use of tumbleweed. Cook Tony! To share his pain. Comes to share his pain. Are you in agony? I, I'm going to touch. You give Cook Tony a gentle pat between two spines. You just need love. Is this what love feels like? Yes, you might be sad, but I, I, I will choose to love you. I got, uh, yes, I need to get in there. There we go. Yes. Oh, it feels love for the first time. Oh, you, you have now felt affection. It's about a dart to sod stone among this pile of rocks. Take it. Yes, you got some flint. Nice. What can I use flint for? Let's go. Flint ammo, weapon attack nine, dusty black rod, might come in useful combat. That is pretty good. All right, let's let's go check out the mines. A set of cute cubbies divided by mine as personal belongings. You know, it's a discarded belt buckle. Oh, give me that. Cool. I'm just straight up committing theft now. I am a detriment to society. A piece of wood is lodged in between the elevator doors. My God, this guy has seen the depths of some darkness. Oh, oh how am I going to get to my station now? The elevator doors jammed. I jammed. I'm calm. I'm calm, okay? I was a lie. I'm freaking... All right, Jesus, you can't, you can't be too relatable, all right? Calm down, calm down, buddy. I'll become my new favorite character. Jammed again? I swear, nothing ever works here. I'm busy, kid. I will... Oh, fine, I'll lend you my pickaxe for a price. That's 30 gold. Fine. Come back when you have the G. 
<laughs> Moses, come tap me. I need to mug you. Where's the service when you need it? Why is no one trying to kill me? Gimme, 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 gimme an encounter. Gimme an encounter. I need to grind. Come on. Give me something to work with here. Thank you, friend. All right, you greedy bastard here. Take the money. You have a spare, yet you still force me to... <laughs> You greedy bastard. Come here often? Yeah, I don't. This is my first time. I'm actually, uh, yeah. Came down here to, you know, kill some monsters. Yeah, yeah don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. You <laughs> scuttles away from me. 